Welcome boys, welcome girls. My name is Mr. Sir and I serve the best writing lessons. So that SEA test is usually left guessing. How are those children so bright? Who taught them to creatively write? Welcome to Cool Creatives, my writing school where we expand your imagination and make your writing beautiful. And I am idiom, not to be confused with idiot or dumb. <coughs> I am actually Mr. Sue's writing assistant. And all you know I could do with some assistance. <laughs> now, 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 the last time only was here, we realized it had tricks in report writing, right? And Mr. Sue knows all the tricks. If you remember the tricks, I want Alain to write it in the comments. If not, then go back and watch the next video. Mr. Sue feel he could hold back on me. I know he has more tricks. And I want every single last one. Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, I command you to release it. Idiom what? Mr. Sir, I want you to release the whole bag. Every single SEA trick. My SEA car must fix. Um, you haven't been doing any work on your own? Own, Mr. Sir, I don't own nothing, Mr. Sir. But right now, you owe it. To the nation of children to release more tricks. Mr. Sir, report writing not easy. You see my car? Mash up. Give me some techniques. Okay, idiom. But you have to promise to use them. Alright, Mr. Sir. I promise. I promise to use them. I, I swear. I swear. Well, before we get to trick number two, remember, report writing is all about facts. Mr. Sir. What facts you telling me about? Fax machine, Mr. Sir, nobody not using no fax machine, Mr. Sir. It's 20, Mr. Sir, in this day. F-A-C-T-S, idiom. Fax. Oh, well, well, well yes, yes. I, I know that already. Well. A fact is something that is true, Mr. Sir. Indeed, it is. You are actually correct. It is something that is supported by evidence. Everyone in the world can agree on a fact. Unless, unless they harden, Mr. Sir. Unless they harden and they don't hear, Mr. Sir. Let's play a quick fact game. Let's look at this picture and tell me which are the facts. Well, number one, Mr. Sir, it says the house is beautiful. That is not a fact. That is an opinion, Mr. Sir. Very good, idiom, because beautiful is someone's opinion. The house has a toilet on the ground floor, Mr. Sir. Now, this is a fact, because looking at the picture, I could clearly see a toilet on the ground floor. Very good, idiom, very good. That's a fact. It's supported by evidence. In the next one, Mr. Sir, the house has three stories. One, two, three. Well, that is clear as day. Very good idiom. That is also a fact. Mr. Sir, the house is well organized. Mr. Sir, I think that is a fact. Idiom, that is actually an opinion. Remember, well organized can mean different things for different people. Oh, uh -huh. so the well organized is an opinion, not a fact. Very good idiom. I'll get this one here for sure, Mr. Sir. The house has one room on the top floor. Mr. Sir, that is a fact. It really have one room. Very good, idiom. Very good. Remember, facts are supported by evidence. So because a report is formal, Mr. Sir, I could only use facts, right? That is absolutely right. Only facts, not your own opinion. No opinions. Now it is a fact that you need to hit me more of the tricks. Okay, idiom, you need tricks. Let's go into the report itself. Now, the report has different parts. But like that thing have more parts than a car. No, idiom. Three main parts. The introduction, the body, and the conclusion. And for each part, I could probably show you a trick. Oh, oh yes, sir. Look my introduction right here. Right here. And here, and it, it, it all over the place, Mr. Sir. And that idiom is what we need to fix. Well, Mr. Sir, that is what I'm saying. Pass the tricks. 
Okay, tricks time. Today it's a slick rhyme. Bong to increase your report score. Keep this rhyme in your head and you're set for sure. Miss Sasson, what rhyme had to do with report writing, Miss Sasson? Well, well, that was not the trick. Anyway, this is the rhyme with the trick. Alright, well, well, go ahead now. Go ahead. The introduction is the report's face. The when, the what, the who, the place. The introduction is the report's face. The when, the what, the who, the place. The introduction is the report's face. The when, the what, the who, the place. If you cover those things briefly in your introduction, then you are set to go, idiom. Nah, 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 Miss Nassim. Nassim. That can't be so easy. Here, what? Give me a topic. Okay, here is a topic. Your class visited the community library. Write a report about the visit. Miss Nassim. First thing first. I ain't going to the library in years. I can't remember nothing, Miss Nassim. Well, two things, Ediam. One, the library is a place you should go frequently to read and build your knowledge. And two, you can just use your imagination. All right, now Mr. Sassy, you're talking. I'm going to use my imagination. All right, Mr. Sassy, I'm seeing myself in the library, Mr. Sassy. It's a real box in here, Mr. Sasson. I had to talk soft, too. Well, well, idiom, that is what a library is for. <sighs> anyway, let us see if we could follow the rhyme and get a nice introduction. Remember, the introduction is the report's face. The when, the what, the who, the place. Now, how do you remember the introduction is the report's face? The when, the what, the who, the place. I'll start with the when. Sounds good, idiom. Okay, okay. When? On Tuesday, 24 January at 10.30 a.m., our class visited the community library. <laughs> Excellent. In that sentence, you cover the when and the what. Let's talk about who. Okay, okay. The who, the who. Our class is the standard five class of the Trinidad Government Primary School. <laughs> Idiom, the Trini, what? So, so, Mr. Sir, this is my imagination. And in my imagination, it have a Trinidad school. And in that Trinidad school, we go in the library to learn that badness is really when you just do all of your work. <laughs> New badness, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Idiom, whatever. Let's go to the place. All right, all right. The name, the name, the name of the place. I could give the library a name. Ah, oh, the name of the library visited was the Goodness Boss Public Library. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> Mr. Sir. Wow. Anyway, now put them all together. All right, all right. Let me see if I remember everything. On Tuesday, 24 January at 10.30 a.m., our class visited the community library. That's the when and the what. Our class is the standard five class of the Trinidad Government Primary School. There is the who, and the name of the library visited was the Goodness Boss Public Library. That is the place. Take some time to read this introduction and tell me if you understand the when, the what, the who, the place. That's the report's face, the introduction. <laughs> that is introduction. Let me put that inside right here. So yes, right here, right here. And well, that is an okay introduction. Mr. Sir, easy just so? Yes, very easy. And to make it even better, you add a nice cap on it. Mr. Sir, what you mean add a nice cap on it? Yes, you can end your introduction by stating the purpose of the report. Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir. How am I saying that? The purpose of the report. Yeah, Mr. Sir, I hear, I hear that, but I want to know how am I saying it? The purpose of the report. Mr. Sir, like car battery acid stick up in your ears, or? Idiom, idiom, listen. You end by saying 
the purpose of the report. For example, on Tuesday 24th of January at 10.30 a.m., our class visited the community library. Our class is the standard 5 class of the Trinibad Government Primary School. The name of the library visited was the Goodness Boss Public Library. The purpose of the report is to summarize the class's experience. Uh -huh. Mr. Sir, that really cap it off nice, you know? Only one thing though, that word summarize. What I really mean? Idiom, word factory. Summarize is a great word to use in report writing. It means to give a brief statement of the main points. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. For example, the purpose of this report is to summarize the class's experience. <laughs> Sound new and original, eh? <laughs> well, idiom, that was actually my example. Well, we just became twins. <laughs> me and you. Idiom, you look nothing like me. Mr. Sir, you have clearly not yet summarized the extent of your handsomeness. You get it from me, Mr. Sir. From me. Anyway, let's see if we can write an introduction and use the word summarize at the end of the introduction. Here is a topic for you. Your class elected a new head prefect. Write a report to be presented to the school population. Now remember, we are only writing the introduction and trying to use the word summarize at the end. And what is the introduction? It's the report's face. The when, the what, the who, the place, and then you cap it off at the end. You could pause the video and let's see if you can write an introduction. You can place your introductions in the comments so Mr. Sir can check them out. Well, Mr. Sir, I master the thing. Hear it! On Wednesday, the 10th November, the Cool Creatives Primary School elected a new head prefect. The prefect selected was Idiom from Standard 4. The election took place in the school's auditorium. The purpose of this report is to summarize the election process and the results. <laughs> wow! I must say that. I am actually quite impressed, idiom. And Mr. Sir, I must say your teaching is the absolute best. And I know you have more. My introduction song in good. But my SEA car, not yet secure. Remember, whatever the situation, trust your creativity and imagination. Because at Cool Creatives, easy, we do things. Now, Mr. Sir, next trick. Okay, Mr. Sir, hello. Mr. Sir! Mr. Sir! Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe to Cool Creative TT for more videos like this. And if you want to join our live lessons classes, send an email to coolcreativestt at gmail.com.